Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Uh, this video is going to be continuing on from the last one, which was the choose your own adventure tutorial. It was a request video that I did for someone on Reddit, and this video is carrying on from that one. And it's adding some more features to it. Um, so I'm going to get one done at a time. So the first one is, can I add audio clips when it asks the questions? Because the questions are going to be audio clips. So of course you can. Um, first thing you'll notice is it might look a tiny bit different or some words might be different because I've had to remake it the same, but I might have named something different. Um, I copy and pasted the code though, so that's fine. And the these two audio clips are just two sample sound clips from my game that I'm going to use in place of audio for your questions. So you want to import audio things here that you would be using for your questions. And then in the code, we need to have a oh, public list of type audio clip which is going to be the audio clips um, which is a new list of audio clip and what you can do there oh we'll also add a yeah we'll add a private audio source now the difference between an audio clip and an audio source um, let me just call this audio source someone's been loud on their motorbike outside um, an audio clip is like a sound clip, so these things I've got in here are audio clips. Whereas an audio source is the thing an object has which emits the sound. So if I go into the game manager, we've got audio clips here. So let's put three, because there's going to be three question slots in my thing. It's going to pause three times. Um, technically four, but the fourth pause... I wish that person would shut up. The fourth pause is going to be the end of the thing. So maybe you want a clip then or whatever. Um, you know what, yeah, you probably want an end clip, so I'm going to make that four. Um, I don't know, you could say well done or whatever you want. Uh, game manager. Let's just alternate so that it's noticeably different each time. Um, and this object now needs the audio source that it's going to get, so audio source. You don't have to do anything with this, it just needs to be on there, and it means that it can emit sound, audio, whatever. This audio clip bit is the audio clip it's going to play, and there's none, but we're going to put the clips in in code. So, when do you want to play the clips? You want to play them when you, well first of all we want to get the audio source. So audio source uh, equals get component audio source. So basically it'll search the object the code is attached to to find an audio source, which is this one, and it'll use that. Um, and down here, you want to play the audio source clip, whatever, when you pause the game. Uh, it's not a game, but yeah, whatever. So here it pauses it, and this is when you want to play the audio clip. So we want to set the clip that the audio source is using. So audio source, no, 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 not with a capital. Audio source, yeah, without a capital, dot clip we set it equal to audio clips and then in the square brackets you put which clip so zero would be the first one would be the second and if you think about it we want to play video stage minus one because video stage is zero and then when it's started playing it increments it higher here so you either put it here and with a minus one, or you put it above this, below this, with a, without a minus one. So I guess you could put, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, no, it's, it's easier to visualize like this because you see you've paused it and then you're playing the clip. So I'll leave it at that. Um, so it sets it equal to that clip. Then we do audio source dot play. And that just plays a clip it's got, and it should do that. So let's see what happens. So I've got fire sound effect. It's going to sound stupid, but so we play. <laughs> kind of scared me. Right. It's going to pause and play a different one. Yeah, it works. So you have your clips there. Yeah, and then the next one will be the final one. Okay, so that's how you play audio clips at the different times. Obviously, if you want more, you just 
increase that and put them in. Um, okay. So the next thing you ask for is, um, how do we tell the script which is the correct answer so it can add points to the question being asked? Okay. So. Some of the questions will be true, others will be false. Oh, I get you, okay. So, what I'll do is, okay, you want it to be true and false. So, let's change these buttons. Rather than be right and wrong, we'll just put true, false, whoops. Okay, true and false. And then in the code, we wanna change this because this is no longer correct answer and incorrect answer. This is true. Yeah, uh, I'll just put button true and button false. So I remember what these are. So uh, button true, button false. And let me just go and hook these up quickly. So wait for it to compile. True is now audio source uh, button true. I don't know why my thing's going weird here. Sorry, I'm going in manage, there we go. Uh, button true. And this is manager button false. And I'm just gonna quickly check, put the text on them to be true and false. Okay, let's just save that. All right, um, now what we wanna do is we wanna make it, so rather than just this one gives you points and this one doesn't, you want a way of storing Okay, okay. So now we want a private list of string, I guess. Um, no, we can do it with integers, it'd be easier. So you can have a list of integers called answers, okay? And that's a new uh, list of type integer. And we'll make this public actually, and I'll show you why. Um, I mean, yeah, we can also make this one public, which, okay, so I had my pauses at 2431. Let's just get rid of that. Let's go into here 2431. Okay, so weights. We'll have 243. One, which is the same as it used to be. I could have had it like this the whole time. Didn't think about that actually. And then shrink that answers. There's also there's going to be three answers. Okay. Um, and we're going to have it so that we'll say um, one means that the answer is true, like the correct answer is true, and zero means false. So we'll say. The answers go true, uh, false, false, so one, zero, zero. And the reason we're doing that is because we only need, um, well, actually, we could do it with booleans. You know what, let's do it with booleans. Um, public list of bools. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I should have done that. Uh, all it's gonna do is just change this. So let's say element zero is gonna be the first question. So let's say the first question, the right answer is correct. Let's say it's like that. So we're, to get them all right, you need to put true, false, true. So how do we do that in the code? Well, we can check down here. Um, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Let's have a private in. We have video stage, but I want a different one. I want a private in um, questions answered equals zero. Why not? Um, and then down here, when you click the true button, doesn't add score. it does the has answered and resets the timer. But then for the score, it says 
if and then we need to check um, if answers and then which in the list so if answers the first time it'll pop up yes yeah, so you want zero so if answers and then questions answered um, is equal to true and then we can do um, score plus equals 10 else score minus equals 5 and then down for button false we can just copy this to be honest um, so after timer and change this to false now what that's doing is it's saying like so is the is the answer oops is the answer we're checking equal to the button we've pressed because this is the false button so it's checking if it's false and this is the true button checking if it's true the only other thing you have to do is after you've um, done all this check you also need to um, increment the um, questions answered plus plus so that when it comes around again it's on to the next question so that should work I'll check but that should work so it's expecting true false true because I got tick nothing tick so let's see let's try and get all the points so tick we get the points false we get the points I really should turn down these sounds they're loud and tick get all the points and there you go that's how you uh, add it so obviously if you wanted more questions you would go you increase that number it would give you more tick and crosses buttons and you do that and I think I've covered everything you wanted to do uh, for me to cover so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I think I've covered everything and thank you for watching goodbye